and this mesh has holes in it. So when you place, when you glue your flowers down, try to glue inside of a gap in between two pieces of mesh. And that way it'll have something to grab on. Something to stick to. All right, do it down. Right between those two pieces of mesh so they will stay. How's she coming? See, she's, she's looking cute. We worked our hair situation out. Didn't we, guys? We worked our situation out. Okay, in between those two gaps of mesh. When I found these flowers, I bought all the ones they had because for months I've been looking for teal. And I've been seeing teal, but not any um, like full-size flowers like these. They were wildflowers that I saw. And I had to like pick them apart and use just the leaves to get the, get the effect that I wanted. Well, not the leaves, the petals, the flower petals. Okay. Need one more of these glue sticks. And you could use any size glue gun. I prefer to use the, the really small one. Especially when I'm gluing the bling on because you have less mess. You don't want glit glue popping, bulging out, bulging out um, on your bling wrap.
You can add baby's breath. You can just, you could have just added one flower in the center. But again, this was a customer request. So this is the reason, um, this is the reason that I have all of these teal flowers all over. And her lips have to be done. Her lips have to be done. Um, you guys, bear with me. If you don't want to watch me do the lips, you can turn it off. But I do have to do her lips. I wasn't sure if I was going to add anything to her lips. I did that on purpose. I wanted to see what, what her face looked like with the black silver and the flowers and just her eyes done. But she does need her lips done as well. Then she'll look like Miss Midnight. So this was two bushes, two bushes of flowers, and I knew that that's what I was going to need for this size frame. If we would have used the 8 inch, we would have only needed one bush. Girlfriend is, she's cute. All right, guys, so I'm going to quickly do her lips, and then we'll be done. Quickly, quickly, quickly. I've done some of these where the lips are painted, but I think the most popular ones that I've done that people like, they have the glitter on the lips. You can buy the glitter sheets as well if you don't want to, to deal with the glitter. But once she completely dries, I go over again with the Mod Podge and it seals it. It seals the glitter. You can brush it. You can do. You can brush it. I, I usually use the paintbrush to to brush it to make sure I get all the excess excess glitter.
kind of like have a steady hand. If it's easier for you to decorate her, her face, you can make her face up um, prior to adding her to the canvas. And then you don't have to worry about this next step because there is going to be glitter. But I'll get it off with the paintbrush because it's going to get in between the, the bling wrap. Bang. Let's fling our lips out. And these pictures I print right off of my printer. This is a size 11 by 14. And I want everybody to have one of my creations. So I'm going to start making 8 by 10s. And I will be using the 8 inch wreath form, wreath wire, and the 8 by 10 canvas, the 8 by 10 canvas, and then uh, her hair will still extend over the canvas, so it'll look, um, it'll have that full effect for the wall as well. Here she is. I'm gonna get the glitter that I put away for her face, for her lips. And glitter is like a magnet to this Mod Podge. You don't even have to let it sit. It's going to flake right off. Everybody, the big reveal is coming up. Oops, we're going to do it this way. There she is, guys. I'm sorry that that just happened. But there she is. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'm not a video professional, so I'm going to turn this phone around this way. And hopefully, if that was upside down... You'll get to see it both ways. Isn't that crazy? There she is. Miss Midnight. And I'll put a picture in the thumbnail so you'll get to see that.
before you even see this video. So thank you all. Have a good night. See you next time.